checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, you know, flexing on me. My attorney gonna call it coming on on his way on the inside because you know, Terrence Crawford, even though you know, he needs space to get his power to up uh, to uh, enhance his power, he needs the forward momentum of his opponent to come toward him, you know what I'm saying, to help him in the knockout and the timing and the Spence don't move like that. He don't he don't just come rushing in. So you can tell by this clip, you know, watch how he approaches moving in, he steps in, you know what I'm saying, when he has the opportunity or he uses a jab. In this segment it shows um, you know Earl boxing IQ. You know what I'm saying? He's hiding his um his left uppercut by implanting his body, you know what I'm saying, what Ugas can't see, you know what I'm saying, when he can, he's going to throw that left uppercut, so that's why I was catching him, because uh, Ugas was trying to figure out what he was going to do, and uh, with uh, Errol Spence Jr. playing it between him and his, um, his left, you know what I'm saying, he couldn't tell when it was coming. Yeah, he was putting it between his... Um, uh, Ugas, you know what I'm saying, his, his vision, blocking his vision so he didn't know when that punch was coming. I just wanted to clarify. Now, in this segment, I want to see all the different angles uh, EJ was giving him, you know what I'm saying, mixing it up well, from one side, you know, from the left to the right, you know what I'm saying, hitting with jabs, you know what I'm saying, hooks, putting angles on the hooks. And uh, Ugas was just confused. He didn't know which way the punches were coming from. And um, this is why, you know, Terrence Crawford going to need a lot of space. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have to box. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not going to be able to stop um, EJ on the inside. And he's not going to be able to handle that activity because Terrence Crawford don't fight like that. You know what I'm saying? He picks his spots. Here, you know, um, you know, Look, look at how uh, EJ relentlessly pressures forward, and so that means Terrence Crawford is going to have to hurt him. He's going to have to knock him out. He's going to have to, you know, he's not going to be able to just hurt Earl Smith Jr. one or two times. He's going to have to get into a dog fight to survive. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, because you know he just pushes forward. He continues even when he gets hits with good shots, and I know everybody thinks. Terrence Crawford got the the hammer throw in his hands, but that's not going to work for somebody with EJ's punch resistance, and that's the key to beating Terrence Crawford to be able to weather the storm and to be able to get to his body because nobody's really ever broke uh, Terrence Crawford down like that, and his fans have never seen it. I've seen it happen to Roy Jones Jr., and we're going to see it happen to Terrence Crawford when he gets in there with EJ. But that's all I got. It's been cool kind of boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.